like going to be some rah-rah motivational bullshit. Because the, the studies show that people trust you more. What are the three things that people need to, to buy? For? One's trust, of course. Yeah, they gotta trust you. They gotta know you, like you, and trust. You. And that's why guys grow beards. So they wanna be tough, sexy. What's good, man? How you doing? Good. I haven't seen the Social Network. This guy's so young, he hasn't seen the Social Network and the movie about Facebook. Even if it only helps one percent, doing a bunch of shit is one percent. Maybe like ten things in one percent. Oh, it's ten percent. That's significant. Every inch. Yeah, man. Every fucking yard count. That's why I want to give you guys a deal on Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> I do it up. I meant what I said, but I'm also plugging this shit. We are dollarshaveclub.com and the party is on. Links in the description. Get a free deal on Dollar Shave Club. You get the fucking shave cream, the shave shit, booty wipes. I think it's with that moist booty. Oh, well, you don't leave it moist. Little moist booty mm. hole. Brian like that little moist booty, man. I use baby wipes, man. Hey, he it's, like uh, keep his ass so real clean, man. His boyfriend enjoys it. In your me. dreams, man. Yeah. <laughs> good. What's up? There's this guy that's in mine and Splash Nerd's Facebook groups who like keeps giving us advice, and he like works with really high level people. And he brought up this point: if your webinars are too long and people are sitting through it, and you're not getting sales, it's because you're targeting broke people. Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking when I wanted to buy Fit Coach U, I got annoyed by the webinar, and I DM'd uh, Johnny and Alex, so they could just send me the. Bye, you did that same thing, bro. <laughs> You've done that multiple times yeah. and I've watched you do it. I don't know the solution yet, but that's definitely a thing. The Facebook group might be the solution because you guys are going in there. This dude, Brandon, gets on Snapchat. He was like, yo, I just got a GoPro. I'm trying to shoot a music video. What would be, I'm not white, so I don't snowboard or like do any like crazy, like I'm not about to jump off some shit. You have to do this kind of stuff for a GoPro to be cool, right? I, I, I don't, no, like none of that, none of that, nothing. Nope, nope, pale fucking nope. So what should I do with it? I was like, attach it to a butt. <laughs> Go pro on a butt. That shit went, he put it up the next day. <laughs> I think we need the wide angle though. I'm a fucking genius. Let the record say I'm the first nigga to put a GoPro on a girl's butt. Ten minutes. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Several bad puns later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Refuse to make a song with a beat, rapping over trap. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's what the people want. The people want it, man. What the people want? In all honesty, I'm just getting your mind going. <laughs> well, you succeeded. <laughs> Alright, you know what I need from you? What's up? I gotta make you a guy on that uh, account. Mm -hmm. Alright, so come on, let's do that now. I changed all the thumbnails last night. Thank God, we got something. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't order chicken wings, huh? Your black ass order chicken wings? I would like to, but there's so much judgment. I feel overly black right now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's a one meal. Like out of everything, the private jet makes sense. Wow, that looks delicious. What is this? It's mahi mahi. Maya hi, maya ha, maya hi, maya hu. Mm-hmm. Oh, that fresh quick barrel. Mm. Roll the cheese! Wow. It's a nice steak, Johnny. What is that, man? New label. Yo, oh, that shit looks sick. <laughs> the popsicle on there? One of my students, uh, he just gave me an update. He made $6,000 last month in his own business. He had worked in other gyms before. And he quit that. And there's a difference between 6K in the gym and 6K in your own business, because the gym takes at least half of that shit, at least. Yo, he went and did it on his own. This is more rewarding and more money in his pocket. 
six K. Yo, we about to pick the winner, Bell and I. The winner from my Keto Inferno challenge. The winner gets some money and prizes, man. Yo! All right, guys, we're finally ready to pick the winner. Winners! For uh, September's Keto Shred Challenge. Guys, remember, we do this every month. Third place, we got Ilya, man. Congratulations, brother. You get third place. Number two, we're going to get to my man Ronald, man. Ronald, you did this thing. Like, look at like, this. You lost a lot of body fat. You lost a lot of body fat. <laughs> Number one was, oh, y'all know love her, Maddie. She crushed it. Maddie. And she got a great shape. Hey, guys, you want to win this month? You ready to join, man? We already started this month. And you still got time to crush it. Uh, so let's get it, baby. Peace. All right, so let's have a happen now. Just, film, just did a bunch of work today. But now we gotta go to the airport because we gotta go to Phoenix because I gotta do something. I think I gotta give a speech or some shit. Fitbits. So when we're doing that, I'm gonna be doing more work on the plane. I like planes because I get a lot of work done. So we're on our way to Phoenix, Arizona for Fit Posium. I imagine it's sort of like a fit expo, except now the booths. It's like a conference. I don't think it's a very good name, and I've never been there. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's gonna happen. I do know we got a webinar in the morning, and then right after that, we're in a speech, and then after that, all bets are off. Okay, look. This is where you let the rich niggas on first. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Come on a journey of ancient history, and you'll learn something new. Yo, we just touched down in Phoenix, Arizona. I had no idea what time it is. What is it? It's midnight. It's 11 Phoenix time, which means it's like 3 a.m. New York time. I'm here to give a speech about something. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just know it's in a few hours. Mm -hmm. 